guys waste no time we just came back from vacation hiking the next hour got on this van again we need to get this van done as soon as possible get it back on the road right now what I'm doing is installing this uh, one and a half um, aluminum extruder extrusion uh, that has two slots here it, it is a main channel that we can attach all the frame into it um, to the wall so all these holes uh, custom made okay we had to drill these holes to match the existing holes in the van so we don't have to drill the hole in the van and using that existing hole um, to mount it and it's very strong super strong our wall panels are going to be like this it is made of uh, three different layers possible four uh, we might have to put insulation on the other side um, we'll see about that but um, I know for sure there's three layers uh, the first layer is the uh, 516 uh, um, plywood and then a quarter inch um, foam and then wrap it with uh, this kind of canvas or, uh, between canvas and tweak materials it's very thick and smooth you can see like this okay that's gonna be our wall panel oh yeah look beautiful exciting There's gonna be three of these battery born 100 amp hour batteries go in here. And uh, trying to build this frame to fit everything in here. It's very tight, but uh, squeeze in as much as we can. Every square inch count. We'll see how, how much we can fit in here. always cut to fit custom cut even the battery cable because the way where we put the, ba the batteries is always different always different in distance so these cables are always uh, custom cut made your own Maybe sweat up and down. Or, uh, uh solar charger solar control slash uh dc dc to dc charger so we have the solar panel coming in here and then the uh, car alternator or car battery is coming in here and then going out uh positive and negative into our battery banks right here so we have a uh, DC to DC charger and then we have a, an inverter slash charger. Okay, so if you don't have the car alternator or you don't have the solar panel, we have a CD hookup. We can plug this baby in and it will charge the battery as well. So multiple uh, charging sources.
break time. <laughs> Oh. Alright, we're back on the roof of the car, you guys. Uh, we are wiring the pre wiring the wires for the spotlights, the spotlight on the left, on the side, the light bar in the front, and also light bar on the back for security light. So we have all these um, uh, marine wires for the, all the wires, I mean all the lights. So many wires that it won't fit in this um, uh, cable housing. So what I did it was these wires, um, I drilled a hole uh, inside, the, behind the uh, existing uh, van camera and it has a pre-drill hole uh, where the camera wires going in so the hole is big enough to fit these four wires so I share those wires and we're gonna have another uh, security camera on the top here um, all those wires share the same hole as the, uh, uh, the van's uh, existing camera these are the two uh, solar panel cam through here um, I have to drill the hole through uh, this plastic uh, on the roof here and that will go in that way looks super clean this way running these roof light wires on a hot day like this go up in the roof bad idea you guys but it has to be done I put a canopy down here, but I still have to go on the roof to run the wires. But hey, it feels good. Uh, let's do some lunch and I will see you the next episode. I know this is kind of a long episode for just the wiring, uh, but it, it takes the most time because it's, it's a lot of wiring involved. It's very tedious work. But I will soon see you next episode. Thank you for watching everybody.